Hi. In this set of videos, we will be looking at choral music ministry, specifically as it relates to uh, children and youth. So there's always a need to minister to our children, to bring them into the church, and to, to share with them about Christ. And one of the most effective ways we can do this is through a children's choir. And so maybe you've thought before, yeah, I'd like to start a children's choir, but where do I even begin? If you look around your core, you may already see uh, young people that would love to start singing together. Uh, speak to your core officer and your core leaders, and they can perhaps share with you uh, other core families that maybe haven't been at your core in a little while, and those are families that you can reach out to and invite them back uh, into the core and invite their children to come join your choir. Uh, the local school uh, is a great way to get information out about your choir. Simply send the details to the school administration and ask for their support in promoting, in promoting your new group. If your core has a website or a Facebook page, this use of social media is an awesome way to get information out and to invite families along um, and invite families to bring their children along to your youth choir. As with most things, uh, word of mouth is one of the easiest yet most effective way uh, to get information uh, out there um, and out into the community. Uh, I would encourage you, as your choir starts to take shape, to find opportunities to sing outside of your core as well. Um, this could be a community Christmas event, or uh, you could sing at a local hospital. And oftentimes when people hear musicians, they are interested in learning more about your group. And they may want to bring their children along to your group. So any idea that gets your information, gets your, your, your discussion about your group out in the community, uh, those are all good ideas to try. The next question usually is, well, what about an accompanist? And sadly, this is something that uh, prevents a lot of people from starting a children's choir. If they don't have that, that traditional piano accompanist. And while there is a benefit to that, um, there are lots of other options to provide accompaniment for you. Um, most of the children's choral books uh, and choral music that is published now uh, include a listening track as well as an accompaniment track that your children can sing along with. And with today's technology, most of those tracks are readily available online when you make your purchase. So they're great to use. There are lots of options for other instruments to accompany you. If you have a guitar player in your core, that can be a beautiful accompaniment uh, to acquire. If you have a worship team or a brass band in your core, these are also musicians that can help you out with some accompaniment. Um, you always have to be careful with young singers and larger numbers of people accompanying you just because of the musical balance. But if you wanted to sing Jesus Loves Me out of the songbook, the brass band accompaniment is there ready to go. Grab four or five of your players and ask them to, to help you out with that. A lot of choirs sing a cappella without any music at all. So even though this may be a little bit of a scary idea, there is so much good music that can be made from an a cappella choir. So don't be afraid to give that a try. If you have a young person in your core who's studying music, uh, say the piano, uh, but they aren't necessarily comfortable yet to play these full accompaniments, uh, maybe they'd like to come along to your rehearsal and they could play the melody lines uh, as you teach them to your children. Uh, it's certainly a help for you in running your rehearsal, but it also um, encourages them to keep playing and it gives them some learning experience. And you never know, you could be developing and nurturing your future accompanist. So something to keep in mind as you work. Um, in the next video, we will still just talk about some general ideas for when you start your choir, maybe what your rehearsals would look like, uh, where and when you can sing. Um, but all of these ideas we will expand on in more detail in the weeks to come and the videos to come. So if you have any questions or feedback or if there are specific topics 
uh, that you want us to discuss, you can email me at heather underscore osmond at, at can.salvationarmy.org. If you'd like to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel, you will also see all this new material as it is made uh, available, and you can leave your feedback there as well. We're very much looking forward to hearing from you.